Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Today, I have got a little bit of a lighting project that I want to share with you. I've been working on some really, woohoo, quite magnificent power tool lighting. So using my battery adapters and connecting them to various different types of a Chinese manufactured LED driver systems. And I've got all sorts of shapes and sizes of these things here. And in fact, this one here is connected to a Dewalt and it's a little bit bright. But what I've done is I've put a diffuser on the front of it. So the idea really is that this should be used as an offset like that to create a nice sort of, or a nicer looking video type of setting. Anyway, let's get into some of these lights. So just quickly then, let me take you through what are the good lights. Um, so this here, well, this is clearly a DeWalt battery pack, and that's one of my DeWalt power adapters that I've got on the bottom of it. Um, and this is a decent Chinese light. Uh, it has six LEDs inside of it, all high intensity Cree style LEDs. And it also has inside of it a voltage regulator. Um, so you can put up to, I think, 60 volts into this light and it uses pulse width modulation at a very high frequency to regulate the amount of power going to the LEDs. And that's the same for, for my work zone adapter. So again, six LEDs and pulse width modulation drive circuit. And then here, this is my, that's my Makita adapter and again the same Chinese LED system so yeah really quite cool I love these lights they're really really useful um, and for each amp hour you have on your battery this draws about one amp a current so you're looking at a six hour runtime approximately if you've got a sink a six amp hour battery something along those lines let's get into the world's trashiest light I've seen these on eBay and I've seen them uh, with what looks like a heatsink on the back of them. And this indeed does look like it's got a heatsink on the back of it. But it's all made of plastic. This all squidges around like that. And, well, I'll tell you what happens. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you how poor this thing is. I mean, literally, what they've done is they've got a couple of resistors and a bunch of LEDs in various combinations of series and parallel. It's on an aluminium plate, and the aluminium plate wasn't bonded, but screwed with two tiny little screws here to a piece of plastic. And as soon as you, and this, and, and the listing said that this operates between 12 and 24 volts and it's 48 watts well i tell you this for nothing it certainly doesn't because as soon as i plugged it in all of the leds just went pop in fact after literally after a few seconds of everything getting extremely hot it just went to hell in a handbasket but yeah as you can see the leds kick off like that and I put it on the bench and I thought, yeah, I'll run, I'll run a test on this for a little while and see what happens. And I can feel it right now. The board in the back is starting to get hot. And yeah, that's it. I think, oh no, no, no. Let's keep that turned on for a little while. The PCB in the back is starting to get hot. I can feel it on my fingers. The LEDs are starting to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And eventually, this whole unit dies a death. Some of the LEDs will start to flicker. Anyway, so, so ultimately, what ended up happening was over a period of time, uh, the LEDs just started to fail. And what we ended up with, whoops. <laughs> what we ended up with was some LEDs working like this here and some LEDs not working. So yeah, a real shame. And uh, and it's quite clear, uh, and this is still red hot on the back now, 
absolutely red red hot plastic in fact to the point where i'm pretty sure that's just going to melt the other thing is there's no cable restraints in this at all if you put the cable literally the cable went through the cable went through the hole in the housing like that yeah and you can see from this side if you just pull ever so slightly before you know it that cable starts to there we go and you and you can start to see some exposed wires in there there's just it's just absolute junk oh yeah and of course they claim to be waterproof yeah look how much mastic there is around here the mastic doesn't even go around the whole of the light lens now i must admit the light lens itself is actually quite cool i do like the light lens and i like the way that works but um but yeah that and the pcb itself are about the only two good things out of this i think they were charging about 15 quid for two of these so about seven pound 50 each and it's utter utter junk i've seen a version of this out there with a metal heat sink on the back of it and i'm sure there will be some electronics in there in order to uh pulse width modulate the leds and accommodate for different powers and all that kind of stuff but anyway these are going straight back to the supplier they're absolute junk so let's have a quick look at this guy here which is one of the new uh which is one of the new lights that i plan to start fitting on my uh high power adapters here so if i just get a screwdriver and yeah pop these screws out okay and then when you pop the screws out okay the first thing you see is you see a rubber gasket in here on this plastics uh, case and that clearly gives it some kind of water ingress protection so that's a bonus and then if you have a look inside here i'm not going to pull the whole thing apart but if you have a look inside here <laughs> there's me using a tiny light on the end of my screwdriver give me a second let's uh let's fire up some decent lighting <laughs> there we go right and if you have a look inside there you'll be able to see a coil a diode and further further uh, further down inside there you'll see a bunch of ic's and you can see that this is all all fitted on an aluminium an aluminum heat sink so these are far far better they get warm absolutely they get warm but at the end of the day they do exactly what they say on the tin and they are pretty good and in fact if you look down the side here there's a little gasket seal between the lens here and the aluminium heat sink and i will say the aluminium on the heat sink is quite thin but again you can buy these for between five and ten pounds each so that's not a bad light for what it is that is far better than this piece of junk and drop one knit one pearl one <laughs> Ta -da! lighting lighting oh <laughs> crikey these things are heavy oh beasts well folks <laughs> oh my goodness these are so bright well folks i hope it's been an interesting i, I can't see i've just got i feel like i'm on stage right let's sort out some of this oh my goodness that's way too bright <laughs> well folks i hope this has been an interesting uh, and educational session please don't forget to give us a good old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video and remember the some lights you buy are absolute crud and some lights on the other hand aren't too bad at all spend your money wisely people take care have a wonderful weekend we'll see you in the next video bye for now